What's up, Paper Cup? Kamusta kayo? It's been a while. Take a wait. Yeah, tapan tayo to. Yan. Sorry, I've been gone. Sorry, I've been gone. I needed to go on a retreat. Lang pumunta ako sa Batad. Bumiyahe ako ng siguro mga 10, 11 hours. And we ended up in this beautiful place. Alright, so medyo mainit nga ngayon. Um, but also at the same time, which is really weird. Biglang uulan. Like, it's gonna be really hot one day and then suddenly it's gonna be like... So while we talk about fake social media accounts, ang magiging project natin today is to waterproof... To waterproof my new Adidas shoes with my BioFresh Nano Waterproofer. What's up? Oy, maraming salamat talaga sa BioFresh, oh, for making this happen. Alright, I think fake social media accounts are good for you. And yes, medyo clickbait yung sentence na yun, but I'm talking about finstas or fake Instagrams. The thing is kasi masyadong naging pretentious yung culture natin when it comes to social media. Your feed always has to be on fleek. You always have to be making or putting out photos na uh, dapat same level ng fleek ng feed mo. Gets mo? Like, okay, we gotta spray this from a distance of 25 centimeters. Let's measure it. 25, baby. Ang init, pare. So if the Instagram that we use to post our nice, feed-friendly, sponsor-friendly photos are in our real Instagram, we will have an account with photos na medyo uh, hindi siya feed-friendly, medyo genuine moments lang, happy moments with friends, yung hindi siya ganong aesthetic. Minsan mga kalokohan moments that you don't really want a lot of other people to see. Yung mga moments na ganon, you would put them on your Finsta. Ako siguro 5 years na akong merong um, fake Twitter account na hindi talaga fake pero hindi, parang hindi siya yung pangalan ko. Parang just so that I can post stuff na, kunyari, galit ako. Uh, Nag-event ako ng feelings ko or, or yung mga song lyrics na medyo sawe na, oh, he didn't come back. Yung mga tipong, never mind, we'll find someone like you. Pero yung mga ganun, like medyo sometimes it might even be parinig sa mga um, kinagagalitan ko. Is that the word? The people that I'm mad at. Mga patama tweets, you know what those are. Those would go on my fake Twitter account na hindi siya associated with me at all. Wala yung pangalan ko doon. But I had invited a few of my very close friends to follow that account. That's the principle and I think it's good because you get to vent out feelings that you wish you could vent out. De, kunyari, uh, vloggers need to be always happy. At least that's the perception. I don't agree with that. But that's the perception na kailangan palaging positive, kailangan palaging in the mood, or uh, go lang ng go. I don't know, dapat yun yung attitude ng mga vloggers eh. But if, kunyari, ako, I'm not in the mood and I'm really mad, or I'm having a fight with a friend, or I'm really sad and I wanna vent, I don't want my image to be ruined by posting something uh, mad on the internet. Parang ganun. Gets? Gets niyo ba? Magulo ba masyada yung kaninang shots ko? I don't know. Would you rather I just, you know, pag talking heads, talking heads ang tawag sa mga videos na ganito. Pag ganito, I just like flat out, not move the shot at all. Isn't that kind of boring? Like, answer the poll na lang. Yesterday, Janina asked me a question. Sabi niya, why are the Finstas the fake Instas? And I was like, mm. good point. Ang ibig sabihin ni Janina is, why are the ones that we call Finstas, where we post the real moments of our life, called the fake instas when what you see on social media is only the highlights of people's lives when you see me standing at a waterfall sobrang amazingly beautifully looking like a wonder of the world i don't know what i'm saying dude that's not me that's not my real life that's not my day to day kung anong nangyayari every day all day normally you know what happens every day normally every day just 
Why do I keep saying the word every day? Bro, ito lang talaga. Like, I would, I would be washing my shoes. I would be answering emails, playing Dota. I would be doing a lot of like very normal non-vlogger things. And the truth is, I think that the real fake Instas are the feed on fleek instas. Di ko kayo binabash kasi pati yung feed ko, inaalagaan ko. I make sure that it's nice so that when people look at my feed for the first time, follow me by the way. Yung first impression nila sa akin is, oh, this guy knows how to take photos. Oh, he has an aesthetic. Baka maganda yung YouTube channel niya. Of course, we gotta make good impressions. But, my opinion is that what you see, especially on Instagram, ayoko mag-shade. Ayoko mag-shade. But, like, really, the real fake instas are the Instagram feeds which are just full of the highlights of your life but not the day-to-day -day nitty gritty what you are doing editing you know when you edit when I'm editing videos it's usually gonna be 2 a.m. I will be in my pajamas medyo may muta na siguro yung mata ko I don't know like I'm not gonna look the best all the time I'm not always gonna be at all these amazing tourist spots The life of a vlogger is not always... Oh, got it. There are always gonna be mundane things in your life. Mga simpleng bagay, ngunit simpleng joy. Sim simple joy. Simpleng kasiyahan. Boys and girls, what you see on social media is a scam and i mean that in the kindest possible way what you see on the instagram feeds of popular vloggers and influencers especially the travel vloggers are only the highlights of their life you do not see their ins and outs their ins and outs the ins and outs of their lives the nitty gritty the in it the <laughs> I can't do it. The struggles in saying certain words. The struggle in their relationships, in their finances. Lahat naman tayo may struggle. Nobody's perfect. I gotta work it again and again till I get it right. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has to. <laughs> depressed dahil na fofomo ka sa party ng friends mo that they're posting on Facebook that they're all just having a great time or even more you're getting jealous of how come these vloggers and influencers life how come Nate Punzalan's life is so good it's always oh you little baby thing hindi talaga bro hindi I, I just want to make that clear okay yung mga fins taganon those will be good for you if you want to make uh, accounts where you get to vent out your feelings, not hurt other people, but vent out your feelings. Show your close friends through Instagram and Facebook the personal moments of your life. Yung mga photos na may double chin ka ng konti, but it was a memorable night. You don't wanna post it on your Instagram, your real one, so you just post it on your Finsta. That's totally fine, but remember that the real fake Instagram is the real Instagram. That's fake. Before we go, gusto ko lang magpasalamat kay Biofresh. Merry, Merry, thank you. Merry Christmas. Very thank you to your uh, foot spray that you gave me. The antimicrobial technology hyperallogenic odor eliminator. Ayon. Spell. Namejas. And the flexible, comfortable insto, install, insole. And the flexible, and the flexigel comfortable insole for when you put when you uh ito lalagyan mo sa loob ng sapatos mo and then when you put it inside and you wear it it's like much comfortabler wala nang ganong strain on your foot you'll feel the difference and of course a nano waterproofer that helped me waterproof my new adidas kicks yun minsan yung araw ko is just waterproofing my shoes and putting spray on my feet but that's what makes life wonderful the ups and the downs the ins and the outs the daily adventures, the simple joys, where we learn to really treasure life for what it is and not always be looking for more, looking for a... 
Let's seize the Carpe Diem together. Remember that Carpe Diem means savoring every moment, whether that's an Instagram highlight moment or just enjoying the cold feeling when you spray your feet with Biofresh Foot Spray. Have a nice day and kita kits ulit next time. Uh, let's seize the Carpe Diem together, pero sinabi ko na yun. Uh, 